Welcome back. I'm back. It's 2021 and today's video I have the RTX 30 series. Some of the first laptops are now coming in and they have the latest and greatest inside. And so today's video, I have the MSI GP66 Leopard. Haven't even tested this out yet before. Looking forward to putting it through its paces and seeing what it's made out of. So let's find out. Let's roll. Let's see what is in this unit. So, thanks for sticking with me. I know I haven't made a video for a couple months, I guess three months now, but I was waiting for some of these new products to ship. And here we go. We got the MSI True Gaming. Let's find out what we have. All right, little notice. And we got that guy right there. Take a look. I'm sure, we got a power brick in here. Whew. All right. Got some manuals. Not important. All right, so power brick. We have a beefy 230 watt power supply. So this is the Leopard. Actually, it doesn't feel too bad. I think this comes in at around 2.3 kilos. All right. We got some venting on the bottom here. So this is the intake. And then we have four exhaust ports for cooling. I'm really excited to see how well this performs relative to the 20 series. I do have a lot of benchmarks off of those, so we'll be able to compare and see how good it is. So let's take a look inside. All right, one finger open. Almost, a little stiff, but it looks good. So it does have a metallic deck, which is nice. And how is the top here? The nice dragon logo on the back. I'm assuming that's gonna light up for us when we power it on. So overall, not too bad. Thickness is just a, a wee, wee thick. <laughs> wee thick. It's uh, funny. Smells like fresh 3070. Okay, so let's go over the specs on this. So this does feature the i7 10750H, so kind of the staple of laptops for uh, last year, and hopefully not all of this year. There should hopefully be some new, uh, new variants coming out, but this is still sporting last year's model. In terms of the memory, 16 gigs, 3200 megahertz. We have a one terabyte NVMe SSD inside. And of course, they've got the 3070 with uh, eight gigs of video memory. The screen itself, 1080p screen, 144 hertz. Uh, supposed to be up to 100% of the sRGB. It does look good on the surface. So, and of course the keyboard, Steel Series per key RGB. So really nice. Really, it's one of the better keyboards and gaming laptops. MSI has done a really good job picking the keyboard in these models. Of course, we have Cooler Boost 5, which features two fans, intake fans, has four exhaust ports and six heat pipes. So it should be able to keep everything cool. We'll see. And then we have a 66 watt hour battery. So we'll see how well that battery performs with the new 3070 under the hood. All right, so let's take a look at the IO. Starting on the right hand side, we've got the audio combo port, a USB type A, of course, we have our exhaust, Kingston lock, a couple more exhausts off the back. We have our power plug, HDMI, features 4K 60 hertz output. Of course, our RJ45 network plug, a USB Type-C, has display port out. 
I do not know if this actually is charge capable. I'll have to test that out. Then on the right hand side, we have our exhaust port along with two USB type A's. And then either side, we have the speaker ports. So we'll see how well those perform in practice. But overall, it feels fairly lightweight, pretty good. And then overall the construction feels good. It does have a little bit of flex you can see here. Yeah, as you push down, we'll see how well that performs over time. It's not something that you're really pressing a on very often just don't like that though but the overall the hinge very good and we get that one finger open a little stiff though let's turn this laptop on and see what it's like all right so we are powered up here couple first impressions off the hop number one the screen it's a 1080p screen 144 hertz it looks really really nice gotta love the sunset on the rocks there but a couple things i've noticed Number one, the touchpad, not glass. You can hear it. It's a little noisy. Don't like that. There's a, a there's a slight like not clickiness, but you can kind of hear it. It's got this little bit of play in the touchpad. So don't love that either. So between kind of the sound when you move up and down and that little bit of click, it just feels like there's a bit of movement in there. So don't love that. Of course, the MSI, you know, dual key, love that up here, right? You got the redundancy built in on the keyboard with the uh, the backslash. Well, there's not much more to say. I think I gotta get, load up some games, put it through its paces, and uh, I'll come back, report back on how well it performs. Let me know what you'd like me to test in the comment section down below. Love to hear from you, like always, so please like and subscribe to the channel, and until next time, bye for now.